Whether you're on the Kardashian bandwagon or not, it's hard to argue against Kim Kardashian West, as she's now known, being one of the most famous and intriguing women on the planet. Woman of the year. Since her family was thrust into the spotlight thanks to their reality show, Keeping Up With The Kardashians, it's been a roller coaster ride for the star. There's been a marriage, a divorce, another marriage to Kanye West in May, making them, and I'm hashtagging, the most talked about couple in the world. That is also the Vogue cover she's always wanted. Uh-huh, honey. She's gone cyber with a mobile game that rakes in $700,000 a day. And of course, one-year-old baby daughter, Northwest. All the while staying in the spotlight in the forefront of pop culture and fashion. And fashion is why Kim is in the country, for her Kardashian collection. And yep, that's collection with the K. Please welcome to the show, Kim Kardashian West. Hi. Thank you so much for coming back on. Great to have you back in the country. Now, since we last saw you, you've had a baby, got married, and you've been on the cover of Vogue. So which one wins there? I can't. I don't, I don't even... Well, obviously getting married and a baby beats anything, but um, they're all very exciting. Good God, woman, you are perfection, aren't you? You are <laughs> so beautiful. beautiful to look at. <laughs> so I'm not surprised that uh, GQ, oh, GQ UK named you Woman of the Year. Lily Allen is furious, but forget about that. <laughs> How does an American woman become the UK Woman of the Year? I don't know. I mean, I'm really honored that they chose me and we had a beautiful shoot, a very sexy shoot. It was an honor and we had a great time at the award show. It was a really fun awards. Uh, and you said, Kim, on winning the award, you said, I want to thank my husband for making me feel like the woman of the year every single day. Now, I'm engaged and my fiance never says that about me. <laughs> <laughs> what does Kanye do that I don't? Um, he is, I don't know what you, you know, what you don't do, so, um, but he is just, he's really the most supportive person ever, and we just have such a good time together, so he, he always says, let's treat each other like it's our birthday every single day, and he really does. Yep, I reckon that's got Lemo covered. <laughs> <laughs> I'm making notes. Now, I was chatting to Sam Smith early in the show, and he was saying he was sitting next to you guys at some awards. I'm not sure if it was the GQ Awards, and that he was laughing with you about just how far away Australia is. How did you survive the flight? Well, yeah, it was the GQ Awards, and I felt so bad because I wasn't even thinking. And I told Kanye, come with me to... London will go for one night. It'll be so easy. We're halfway to Australia. Don't even worry about it. And then we'll just go to Australia. We land, and I was like, oh my God, we're double as far from Australia now. <laughs> and I felt so stupid and so bad and made him. We, we had to take a 22 hour flight. Oh. So, yeah. But it was baby. worth it. It's worth it for a GQ Awards, right? It's, Absolutely. it's so worth it, but you took the baby everywhere. I just flew my kids to Bali and it looked like a Sultana factory had exploded in our <laughs> aisle. Uh, how, was, how was North on the flight? Aww. She was amazing. She slept so much of it. Oh. And then we were just playing in the aisle and she was, she's so good. She's, I'm so blessed that good she baby. is such a good baby. Yeah. But Kanye played it well because didn't you fly separately? So I don't know how, whether he drew the straw there, but he did it well. He went a day early so that he can um, arrive because he had a show in Perth. So he had to get there a day before we did. But um, so I felt so bad, let alone did I not practically lie to him that it was closer but probably better than a baby, you know, <laughs> trying to wake him up every couple hours. Now, Kim, you look spectacular, as you always do. Uh, so we ha I know people are out there watching right now. They're tweeting through. They want fashion do's and don'ts. And I'm at the top of that list, by the <laughs> way, of wanting fashion do's and don'ts. Do's and don'ts. I mean, I think in general, even if something seems really trendy, you know, don't really fall for the trends. Go for things that you really feel comfortable in and... If you're comfortable in it, you're going to be confident. And I think half of it is just, you know, you people dress up and want to get nice things because they want to feel good about themselves and look good. So don't, you know, if it's a crazy trend, don't, don't fall for it. I think this whole collection is really simple and just fits really well. And a lot of it is about the fit. Well, Kim, we would say come back when you have time for a holiday, but, you know, 22 hours on a plane, maybe that's not a good <laughs> suggestion, but we would love to have you back anytime. And you can catch... I'm like Howard Hughes. I'm like David Stern. I'm like Steve Jobs. If anything, that's a compliment to them. 
I'm like Michelangelo because I'm the new version of 